is 2 a.m. in glorious downtown Torrington, Connecticut. And what I have been doing usually at night, like in the middle of the night, is uh, collecting bottles and cans, which I, I don't know if it's kind of a side hustle because I don't have a main hustle at the moment, thanks to the fucking Torrington Police and the Department of Consumer Protection. And kind of for myself too, so there's blame to go all around. Um, but anyway, um, I was doing it over the winter, and it's much preferable in the winter because there aren't bugs like there are in the summer. Um, I go through, like at night, I go through um, garbage cans at gas stations and so forth and they are usually like loaded with cans and bottles so there's the easy pickings and you know it's like I've been doing this for a long time like a long time and if you collect stuff from the side of the road you could get like sand they could be crushed you can't read the barcode blah 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 but if you grab something from the like a trash can at a gas station, you know, it's usually somebody just stopped by to get gas and they threw out all their shit in the trash can and it's fresh, so they're clean and usually uncrushed. But in summer, doing this in the middle of the night, I have seen some bugs that make me want to pedal at home as fast as I can in fear. They are so big and so unidentifiable that. Whew, I'm out of breath. I assume they must have just crawled into one of the abandoned buildings in Torrington, breathed in the asbestos and other shit that those buildings give off and mutated into what they are today. And I hate doing this in the summer. But now what I wanted to show you is this is Price Right in Torrington. And they have their... Um, bottle return, the reverse vending machines here, uh, working 24 hours a day because they're open at night. So this is perfect for me. Plus, unlike Aldi, um, they take a lot of different brands, including um, stuff that they don't sell, like Stop and Shop, Water, I found. Um, I'm not sure what else they take, but they take a lot, you know, of stuff that they don't sell. So I love coming here um, in the middle of the night, especially in winter. Even though it's cold, it's peaceful. It's like a zen activity. Um, you know, I listen to my music and uh, the Torrington pigs don't bother me for doing this. You know, they've seen me almost every night. Uh, I, I, they have hassled me once or twice, you know, with the, uh, we got a call and, uh, you know, just move on sort of shit. Little petty tyranny that uh, cops do, but that's one good thing I can say for them is you know props for leaving me alone. Um, and I'm sure they haven't gotten any complaints from stores or gas stations because I do not make a mess. I try to leave things cleaner or as clean as you know I found them, and I don't make trouble. <laughs> so anyway. Um, I wanted to say props to Price Right in Torrington for leaving the reverse vending machines on 24 hours a day. I've never seen anyone else use these overnight. Um, and I've been doing the overnight canning for probably at least six months. You know, I wasn't doing it overnight before, but um, I've kind of taken on a, a night schedule sleep mode. So. Anyway, that's that. Alright, that wasn't quite it. I did want to clarify one thing. Um, Torrington police are not responsible for me not working, but they are a very large part of why I'm not a pharmacist anymore. So, maybe I'll do a video on that in the future. But, as you can see, I am filthy rich. $1.55, right? Well, it was a slow night. Plus, I have... Stuff that can't be returned here, which would include 
uh, alcoholic beverages and some very odd energy drink that I found uh, in one of the trash cans. So now that's it. My motherfuckers. Well, just watching everybody. Hi. Hi. Can't see the license plate, but yeah, they're around. <laughs>